Hello everyone and welcome back to Lantasia. Today I'm going to be finally doing an island tour video. I've been saying I was going to do this for a really really long time and finally I am going to be doing one. My island is not finished however I thought I might as well just do it now. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you my map. So on my island obviously I have myself Alana and my partner Craig. He doesn't play but you know whatever. And then we also have Stu, Freckles, Alice, Weber, Bones, Piku, Tia, Raymond, Elmer and Francine. So obviously there's a few people who are not on my dreamy list so there will be some changes to my island but I love them all just the same as they are. Um, if I were to change anything on my island map it would probably be maybe spreading out my where my residents live but I am pretty happy with the overall look of it at the moment so there's no big big changes on the plan so far so that's pretty much all my map that is to show you and yeah so I'll just get on with the uh, island door so this is my initial island entranceway and it's the kind of a theme of it is just super super natural and kind of like pretty and simple. That was the idea for this island. It directly above from it is where my residence centre is or my town hall as I call it. Um, it's not. I didn't want anything too extravagant. I've just got the you know the waterfalls beside each of it. And I just wanted to kind of keep it as natural as possible. So that's what my theme for the entire island is going to be. Um, so I'm going to go to my left. That's my usual way of going. And yeah. And this takes us to my cute, like, I call this like the chill out area. You know, we can sit by the little fireplace, play a little bit of guitar and just relax in this really quaint area. I just love it so so much i actually made a video on how to recreate this area if anyone wants to watch it i have nothing on this beach like i'm exposed there's nothing to see here so we're just gonna go kind of like scoop past that a little bit so nobody can actually catch me for what i am so up towards this way we have my shopping area but to the right i have a little cafe i love this it's like secluded on its own and it is so 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 pretty i really love how this turned out i'll just show you now in the camera so you can really see how cute and quaint it is like look at that super super adorable so yeah really simple but really nice and it gives such a like natural and cutie design and feel to that part of the island and then obviously up here we have my nooks cranny and my able sisters and to the right of my able sisters i gave them a little like clothing making area so if sable or mabel want to come outside for a little bit they can and then we're going to come back down this little pathway area and we're going to go down here. This area I kind of call like a filler area. It doesn't really have a use. It ju it's just there to really look pretty more than anything and it fills the gap that I had. I kind of love areas like that a lot. Like here is what I call the wood chopping area. That's why we have obviously the axe and the chopped wood and the chopped down trees. Really cute, really simple to add and it doesn't take much resources to make it. Then up here we have our clothes cleaning and drying area which I think is super super adorable with the nice scenery around it. And then we're just going to go back down here and we're going to cross over to the big bridge to the left. This is, I think I'm going to change this eventually but I like to call this my nice flower garden area. Um, yeah, let's not look good in here because this is my uh, secret thing that I don't want to talk about. <laughs> So this here is like a little garden dining area. It's really, really pretty and this this sort of thing has been here since pretty much day one. So I eventually do want to change this up a little bit to what? I don't know, but I love it as it is at the moment. So it's not going to be for a little while. 
up here we have my diving area so that just means I can run up here dive off and then also a little cutesy dining area just in case I want a little dainty date you know again we have another little cute garden dining area cute quaint love it <laughs> and then of course up here we have my outdoor cinema really cute really easy to make and it just it really does fit in with the theme really really well I love it and it's the best thing I did putting that in um, up, here, up here we have like a little bit of scenery and obviously I have to have a secret path this then leads to my secret beach dining area lots of dining areas on my island oh of course I have forgotten yet again to put out the missing chair here so let's just kind of forget about that and yeah so this is like the little secret beach dining area part of my island I love it so so much and then I'm gonna take you down to the bottom section of this uh, beach so I've made a little entranceway like so and then it leads down to again this is kind of a filler kind of part of my island there's no real use to it but I just love the aesthetic and the look of it gotta use a bit of a statues you know gotta make red a bit useful because you know he never brings me any real art so I've got to use the fake one for something <laughs> so yeah just again little simple area nothing major but it looks so so pretty white on beach looks absolutely gorgeous so yeah that is my beach that's probably the most designed beach that I have so we're gonna just go up here again run past the cinema run past the secret path appreciate that a little bit keep on going <laughs> Uh, so I'm not going to go to the right over here just because I'm going to do that later on and you'll see why So we're just going to go up here. This is my residential area. I I've had this like this pretty much from the get-go I've moved them all close to each other as soon as I could and I do really really love it however Not all of them have a lot of garden like still has a little bit of a garden here but not everybody does and I'd love them to have a bit more character in their garden hence why I wouldn't mind kind of splitting them up a bit in the future for now I'm really happy with how it is but eventually I think I would like to do that like up here on this level Pico has a lovely cute big garden but not everybody does so it's really pretty like that and then where but he has a little bit of a section but not that much so I'd, I'd really love to give them a little bit more to work with and to give them a little bit more character and you know judge to it so I'm just gonna run 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 back to where that little pathway was here so we're just gonna walk this way it's like a little secret path I guess in a way because sometimes you might not realize it's there until you've taken it and then it leads to these cutesy little stepping stones I'll just jump across and this leads to the outside of my house I'm not gonna do an indoor house tour because it's not ready but maybe I will eventually so there yeah, this is the outside of my house and then if I go back there is a way to down here to the left and we'll just jump across this is my favorite area well one of my favorite areas I should say so I'm excited to show you I did make a video on this but if you haven't seen any of those videos this is it it is my secret bamboo library and I love it so 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 much it's so so cute like look at it it's just little bits like this can make such a difference to your island it just adds so much character and just lushness to it so I'm just gonna jump back across like so so again this leads to the outside garden of my house which I love so we're just gonna cross over this and we're gonna go to the left which this then leads to the back of the town hall and obviously to the Able Sisters that way. We're just going to start it from the beginning and go to the right now so we can get a real proper feel of it. So, oh, there's a balloon. I'm just going to shoot this down and... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to pick it up because I don't have any space for it. So up here we have this cute little garden this just kind of shows all the colors that you have I don't have all of them but like let's just keep it between you and me um oh we got some flowers growing in the garden area but this is like the cutesy like garden area 
and then to the right we have the museum i really wanted something simple for the museum because i know a lot of people have something really extravagant but i think the simplicity of it makes it really really pretty i love it i really do like it i think it matches the island really really well so we're just gonna go again down like can we appreciate how cute this path is <laughs> down to this direction so this here has been there since the beginning of the game that I've had it and I don't know I think it's the, just the nostalgia of it being there I don't want to take it away but I think I do need to change it eventually but today is not that day <laughs> so we're just gonna go down this little secret path and it is going to lead us to my cute little tiki bar I love 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 this so so much this is probably the first big idea I had for like little section of my island so that's got a really like special place in my heart so next we're gonna just cross over this cutesy little bridge and this leads us to this nice little cute beekeeping area You've gotta have one of those and also a DIY area now this was essential for me because I'm always always making something and luckily none of this is considered trash so that's that's pretty darn good or oh, I guess laid about items or whatever Isabel moans about <laughs> so if ever you need something DIY center is a must so then down here leads us to this cute little beach area which I love this was probably the first beach sort of design that I did and I loved how it came out it's just so simple but so so pretty and I love white flowers on the beach love it and again, I got a little beach area up here. <laughs> it's a bit of a work in progress. Like, it's not that great. But, you know, let's just forget about it. It's mainly here because, like, if I want to change my clothes outside, that's what the cooler box is for. I can, you know, get changed into something outside. But, like, this is a meh, very meh area. But that's okay. You know, we can have a perfect island. You know, that's fine. So then we're gonna go up here. This is probably one of my favorite areas. Like it is gorgeous. I love it so, so much. Okay. So this is a little farm area, super adorable with a bear warning, of course. And then it's just a little like this and that area. I just love it so, so much. It's so busy and so pretty. And like, I, d I don't know. I just really, really love it. I love like the kind of, everything the, the waterfall the trees the flowers the path in i just think it all flows really really well really pretty and this is another one of my favorite areas this is like a little secret dining cafe area rich thingy <laughs> i don't know what it's called it's got a bit of everything going on but i just i think it's super super adorable again another micro environment that works really really well with the theme of my island and then we're gonna keep going up this way <laughs> and we're gonna get well, I don't know, we're gonna get to our pottery making area like I did this in a video and this came out super good way better than I thought it would this area is a work in progress there's nothing here so that's why it is pretty empty and pretty bare so we're just gonna forget about that and move on and then up here we have our wonderful campsite so I did my most recent video on this as well. I made this extra little campsite area using uh, Craig's character and it came out really, really well. And I just love it. It really adds to this area so, so much. Like, come on, look how pretty this looks. It's so, so simple. And obviously my landscaping area is a must. You've got to have, not landscaping, <laughs> stargazing area, not landscaping. Wow, I got landscaping on my mind. Then across this way leads us to another section of the campsite. So that's where our campsite people will go. And obviously they get their little picnic area, a little fire, and a little chill on the um, hammock here, you know, pretty dope, pretty cute. And then we have a wonderful wedding area. So, you know, if you wanna get married, it'd be super cute, super dope. And this is where you wanna be. I actually love this area when the fireworks are going off. What I'll do is I'll, um, if I link my Twitter in my, not my Twitter, my Instagram in my description, I can show you the pictures that I took of the fireworks. This is my red area, but like, there's nothing really here, but you know, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> but that's, yeah, that's pretty much all of my island. I'm gonna end it here, so 
I just want to say thank you guys so so much for watching any of my videos. I love making them and I love designing my island. It's probably one of my most favorite things at the moment. If you have liked this, let me know. Just you know, write a comment in in down below and tell me what you like the most. And yeah, subscribe if you're new or subscribe if you've been watching a couple of my videos. And of course, I will definitely see you all in the next one. Bye.